Jed King and I own School Fitz Barbershop. I was the founder of the School Fitz Foundation. It was about three years trained and, and worked in shops and just rented chairs and, and just really worked on worked on my skills and was always watching videos and you know really really putting the effort in to get good at it and try to keep up to date with the latest techniques and I learned fast now fast learning me you know I think that's maybe down to the army as well and I saved and as soon as I had enough money uh, to open the shop that's what it is so school fades the name itself stands for a haircut that we specialize in Fades are our thing, you know, short work. So a fade is the, the graduation as it changes colour, a short graduation as it changes colour on the side of the head, that's a fade. A skull fade is done with a Mac free razor against the grain, so there is no shorter, so it's down to the skull. So it's, it's got the name of skull fade. I like to work with, with, with short graduations because I'm a perfectionist and it's got to be perfect. If there's any little lines in the fade, because it stands out a mile. There's no error margin with a fade, and especially with a skull fade. So because that's what I took to and what I enjoyed doing, that was it. That was that was always going to be the name of the shop. In spare time, so we, we go and look after homeless people. Um, I can cut hair, and that's what I can do, and that's the way I can help. I grew up in the same way a lot of these guys on the street grew up. It was a you know, turbulent start to life. I deeply understand you know, these guys on the street, and especially the guys who are direct servicemen. Before I was a barber, I would always you know, give them money or buy them a sandwich or spend a bit of time talking to them. You know, I'd sit down on a night out in Manchester and just chat to, you know, talk to a guy. I saw a guy years ago, um, a retired barber in, in the States, and he goes and gives his time to the homeless community. And um, I just thought that was a, a beautiful thing, setting up and looking after these people in that way. And as soon as I seen that video, I wanted to do it. It took me a little while to, to do it, to, to get the, you know, to pluck up the courage to actually go out, because it's a bit of a strange thing, really. it's a strange concept, you know, to approach someone, can I cut your hair? First time I went out, and I thought I'm going to see 20 guys, you know, so I make 20 lunch packs, carry them into town with, with, you know, with my gear, and that was the first part of contact. And I also take my dog. You know, Martha, she's a good icebreaker. She's a cute bulldog, and she does, it doesn't matter how friendly I am. Nobody's as friendly as a dog, are they? And then I just talk a bit, and then just say, look, I'm a barber. If you want to tidy it up, I've got all my stuff with me. I can give you a haircut. In the beginning, guys were like, all right, <laughs> you know, they're, they're wondering what. Um, um, so there, then we just set the chair up, sit them in the chair. And it was just, it was just a bit strange. It was new for me, and it was new for them. Um, but now I've got experience, and I know what I'm doing now. You'll see the change, especially if they've not seen us before. They don't trust the situation, and they're not sure. But once they realise we don't want anything, we just want to help. That person starts to emerge. About halfway through the haircut, you feel better, and it starts to work. They're, they're feeling the positive energy from, from the team, just talking and, and freshening them up and cleaning them up with baby wipes, you know, and using nice smelly moisturisers and products on them, you know. It all helps to give them a lift. By the end of the haircut, they've got the chin up on their own. In Manchester now, when they see that van with this logo on it, big black transit van with school fades on it and, and it's like a beacon, you know, they, they know they're going to have a good day. It's so easy in Manchester because they know us and, uh, and they love us and we love them. Just as it starts to go cold, the guys need warm kit, you know, they need life-saving stuff. The School Fades Foundation is a winter event, so it's our second one. Last year was a, was a massive success. We were told we were, we were going to get 200 sleeping bags uh, from a big business and um, sort of five days before the event they, they said they can't provide that now. So I was like, oh wow. So we put a post out on our media, Amazon parcels with sleeping bags, they just turning up all week. The response is amazing, it's, it's overwhelming. Same with rucksacks and warm kit and so they're going to have tapas, we've got a street kitchen, we've got a generator. And, 
11 boxes of, of brand new coats and, and clothes, and, you know, from boohoo.com. The guys are going to get new stuff, which is nice. Everybody likes them at new. The pros are joining us again. They're going to busk for us. Outside trying to wear the car, then it beat twice as we heard it start. We run outside and squash in the back seat. Beth gets in the gap on my mum's feet. Sat in the football on the passenger side. My mum tells her get her head down if we pass police. Then that's we've we got have. three barber shops. We've got hairdressers. We also look after the ladies. Uh, we've got a team of addiction coaches, all specialising in different areas. My name's Jamie Graham, and I'm uh, an addiction, addiction coach, a recovery coach. What Jed was helping people, and what he needed uh, an, an extra dynamic, you know, a bit of experience, because I just get down to their level and just chat with them. And then sometimes I'll disclose where I've been, sometimes I'll just wait for an opportunity that. What, what this does is the food parcels and the haircut gets us uh, an in with the it gets a little so it opens the door and the window so we can start to talk to and build up trust. I'm just a, a, a kid off an estate who's got a barber shop, you know, so there's nothing special about me. One thing I've learned this year is that we're all capable of doing amazing things. If I can do it, anybody can. Anybody can. So I'd like to see, you know, school face foundations or similar organisations up and down the country in every community. You know, have somebody in each community, you know, doing their bit in that way. You know, where people are really caring for each other and looking after the guys on the street and treating them like human beings, you know, and not ignoring the problem. And, you know, I know this isn't helping people off the street, but while they're on the street, they still need help. Um, and the more people that, that help us, you know, the more help we can give them.